What's happening, sports fans? We welcome you back to everyone finding out that I have an excessively large hat or head. Uh, the Crawford Colts are stopping by in studio today. They brought one of their hats to go officially up on the rack. And uh, these are nice. These are nice. I like these. I appreciate these. Apparently, uh, it's been a pain to get this logo put over everything correctly. Uh, but Coach Marquez is here to tell us all about that, along with the rest of the team. Guys, thank you very much for being on the show with us. Most people only know you with a helmet, a face mask, and a number on your back. So can we please go down, introduce ourselves, starting over there with you, Coach. Um, can we get name, position, and grade? And for coaches, I always say, if uh, you know what grade you'd be in at this point in life, you're welcome to say that. If not, how many years uh, you, <laughs> you're saying you'd be a senior in high school right now? That's mean. I like that. This is going to be a fun 20 minutes. Uh, coach uh, and or current senior at Crawford High School, would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> Uh, Coach Mooney, defensive coordinator, uh, was my third year here at Crawford, I think. Yeah. Should we year put it on year. the – are you guys – we're going to put this on the poll then at SD Prep Insider on Twitter, on Instagram is where you can find it. Does Coach Mooney give off the vibes of a high school senior? Uh, <laughs> uh, super, super, okay. super, super senior. Uh, Topo H, class 123, quarterback. He cannot. <laughs> 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 said quarterback. He <laughs> said quarterback. <laughs> Top push, class twenty twenty three, wide receiver DB. What well, what what level, what number quarterback would he be on the depth chart? Would there at coach, would there ever reach a point <laughs> after me? What, uh, what le, le, legitimate question? We got about would you forfeit before putting him at quarterback? We got about thirty on the roster. I think he's probably thirty two. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You, you do a fan giveaway at that point. You, you draw a random wife? kid out of the student section. Uh, I'm, Marty Jackson. I'm shaving his student up. Hell no. Hell no. Smith, class of 23, DB. What's the ring? Uh, Into the mic, just so people can hear. Soccer CIF champion, by the way. There you go. We'll get a close-up of that one. Uh, no, that's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's supposed to do. He, he gets the show. He does it correctly. Uh, Gavin Knight, uh, class of 2023, free safety kicker and receiver. Oh, someone openly admitting to be a kicker. I like. Gavin Nguyen, class of 2023, QB. Hamadi <laughs> Sharif, class of 23, running back. <laughs> You're also alleged to be uh, one of the better rappers <laughs> and <laughs> uh, on the team. And you promised us last year you would give us something. I didn't uh, promise nobody. <laughs> Hey, when's the album dropping? When's the album like dropping? He's five days late. <laughs> Do you have something that you can give the people right now? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Nah, you gotta, nah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it going to take to get you to give the people a little something, something? A feature. <laughs> Isn't it at SG51 oh, on yeah. Instagram? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> at SG51 yeah, on Instagram? His, his rap account is SG51. Find him on Instagram. You don't make him search up SG without the double E, but all right. <laughs> so, okay, so here's the chance. Set the record straight. Tell the, give the people a little sample of what they'll find if they search that name. Well, oh, y'all doing too much. Come on. <laughs> this isn't live. We can stay here forever. But what? <laughs> you have multiple takes, bro. Just, just close it off the internet. Oh, no, we're not doing multiple takes. I'm just telling him I can just sit here staring at you guys for as long as you want. We're not on live air. But who told me? You <laughs> told everybody, and everybody told me. It was last year, bro. Hey, yeah, FaceTime. You Remember FaceTime? Got a ring on your finger, but you have to. Hey, you have that, mic right come here. on, champ. Studio. Is, come on, champ. All right, well, we'll talk him into it, okay? <laughs> you, you, I, I literally, I, you specifically knowing that you don't like my intern, I'll, I'll make sure my intern makes you feel real uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> that's the intern, by the way. Uh, the dog. Uh, I'll make sure. I'll, uh, no, I'm kidding. Hey, that window open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get straight through, coach. Um, all right, we'll keep going. Then that soccer ring also? Yeah. That's what's up. That's a nice ring. Oh, oh, Jake! Cro that's bro, that's Padres All Star Jake Cronenworth's bobblehead you just messed with. But did I just break it? No, it pops oh, out. Oh, okay. You hate you hate the Padres that much though? Yes. Padres <laughs> really? Are so trash. Oh my god. Uh, wow. Hassani Battle, um, <clears throat> D line captain and linebacker captain. Thank you very much. Class of twenty twenty three. Do you do that both roles at the same time? Of course. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. I 
I like that ha- ha- there's a split kind of in the middle there about who agrees with what is the truth <laughs> on a lot of these different positional battles. Coach, can you clear it up for us? He'll probably end up playing D-line. I think he'll be a good linebacker, but he's a monster at D-line, so he'll probably stay there. And I'm Coach Marquez. Uh, it's my fourth year. Mm-hmm. Week three, 2018, I took over as head coach, so whatever that means. Whatever that means, yeah. Nobody knows what years mean anymore after COVID has merged everything all into one. All right, guys, you're just out of your dead period. The season is less than a month away. Uh, if I had to ask, and this is just going to open question, anyone's able to field this, so maybe some – Offense and defense can weigh in. How ready are you for the season? If you had to put a number at zero to 100%. Uh, 120. Defense-wise, 200. I love him. I lo- do you want to be – do you want to – when you graduate, do you want a job? Rapping. No, no, no. Not rapping, not rapping, not rapping. Just sitting there as we do all of our interviews. Yeah. You can be – You uh, basically, do you want to just come in here and co-host eventually uh, is what I'm asking because you seem like you get the show uh, and, and you're, you've are you got a lot of personality. You ready to rap yet? <laughs> That's crazy. Just one, one, one time. Pop, pop, pop a song. What kind of beat? Apology? I'll unfeature. I'll unfeature. I'll, 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 I'll release. I'll release. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. After, after. All right. All right. All right. So, so are you saying 120% offense and defense, everything's ready to go? Yeah. Special teams too? Yeah. Yeah? Everyone kind of agree with that? Like, you guys are, are if, if football was starting this Friday, you'd be ready to go? Yes, sir. Yep. So where does that confidence come from then? Um, what have you guys been up to this off season? What have you been accomplishing? How has this all been looking that makes you guys feel so confident? Practicing. Even during the, the uh, day period, you still get some guys go to San Diego State. You will be out there practicing. Well, we have a lot of seniors coming back and, like, chemistry. A lot of it goes into chemistry. And I Senior like heavy team? Yeah. Uh, what are we looking at on the roster? You said it was about 30 guys on the roster. What are we looking at? About half are seniors right now? And everybody in here, senior, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, perfect. Last year. <laughs> last year, we only had three seniors total. So um, the difference between having three men and the rest of the team boys and having 15 men and the rest of the team boys is going to be huge. And where are we is, – is it just varsity this year? Are you guys varsity, JV, fresh? Well, how, how big is the program looking? How are you doing in terms of numbers? We always start off with a varsity and JV, and then hopefully by the end of the year we have enough freshmen to cancel the JV and just go freshman to varsity. Nice. Nice. Um, I guess then who of the non-seniors should maybe we be looking out for? Who are some of the new guys that are going to put uh, put their names out there this year for Crawford? Uh, Trayvon, number one, uh, receiver, going into a sophomore year. Very phenomenal player. Another sophomore, we have uh, A.B., Abdullahi Sharif. This guy's a little brother. Another guy who's going to have a big season. Another sophomore, uh, Kent Armstrong. He's the RB2 behind Hamadi. Uh, I think he was the uh, leading uh, freshman rusher last season. So, there's just some guys that I'm looking at. Oh, and uh, Big Mac, too. Big Mac. We got a guy. <laughs> His name is Isaiah, but we call him Big Mac. He should be having a big season, too. Is there a funny story, or does he just, like, eat big? He just kind of gives off that vibe. <laughs> Now, his last name is McPherson, and he's big. So when I first met him, I said, you know, you're yes. Big Mac. And he just, yes. he, he ran with it. He loves it. Yes. You know, he got girls coming up to him saying, hey, Big Mac. <laughs> and, and, he he just, and he's what great? He's sophomore? You said sophomore? Going into sophomore. He started for us, uh, all, like all four uh, sophomores that we mentioned, started for us last year as freshmen uh, the whole season. Um, every now and then you get a group of freshmen that the first, you know, first couple of days you see them, you know they're ready for varsity football. So they kind of set the bar now for, like, freshmen coming in. You need to be at least this good. To play varsity, is it like a little sign that the yellow yeah, cut, a cut out of Hamadi standing there? Like hey, you got to beat this, you got to beat this good. I mean, honestly, to, to he, play he's, on been, this. he's been starting since, uh, since freshman year. He played one game at JV. Yeah, no, we had a clip of you predicting this mm-hmm. that he was going to be an impact watch player for one, you. Watch from one play on JV. I said, is your brother I coming for your legacy though? Is he? Are you? Are you? Are you competitive with your brother? And you want to come in here and say that you're better than him? Are you here to build him up? Mm. Uh, does the crowd or does the room need to weigh in that yeah, that he's coming for? Is he the better football player? <laughs> Defense, I'll give it to him. Okay. Uh, I left that in freshman year, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Juking, I'll give it to me. Catching, I got the best hands in the team. But yeah. What's wrong with you, bro? So, guys, looking at the schedule, um, we've got Mar Vista, Country Day, Mount Miguel, Castle Park, San Ysidro, Tri City Christian, Kearney, Coronado, Hoover, Claremont. I don't really look at that schedule and see anything that's like a can't win type of game. 
I don't want to necessarily get the, I mean, you're going to coach, you're going to say, we're going to take it one week at a time, you know, focus on our next opponent, yada, yada, yada. But is there one game that you guys maybe have scheduled early in the season or circled early in the season that you're like looking forward to sending a message with that one? Like, we feel like that's going to be a good test for us or somewhere where we're going to ball out or we're going to really uh, come together and uh, we want that team. I feel like the La Jolla Country Day game uh, is kind of where last year where we got started. Um, we lost the game last year and that made us 0-4. But at the second half of the game, if we would have played like that in the first half, it, it would have been a totally different game. Like that that proved to us that we can play with a, a really good Division Four team. That, you know, La Jolla Country Day is always good. They're always going to have a good offense. They're always going to throw for 5 million yards. So, you know, being able to play with them and coming, you know, from a huge lead to getting it down to two touchdowns by the end of the game, you know, it was, it was a, a big thing for us. So I think if we can, you know, have another strong showing against them early in the season, that'll uh, be a good tone setter for us. Everyone agree? Like that's kind of the the one that sticks with you from last year? Um, the one I'm looking forward to the most, uh, I'm looking forward to Coronado. Um, they're back in our league this year. But um, maybe for like a little bit different reasons. Like we played them in the springtime. But, like, also during that time, like, you know, we coach at Crawford. So, like, a lot of uh, our students, like Hamadi included, they are going through, like, Ramadan and stuff. So, like, they had to fast. Like, you know, they were fasting that whole entire time. And, you know, we went out there. That was for the league championship that year. And, you know, this uh, this guy, Abdi, a whole lot of our kids, you know, were playing on empty stomachs. And I remember um, halftime, like, these guys were breaking their fast, just trying to get any sustenance they can for their bodies, you know, to keep trying to, you know, will us to a win. So, um I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to that one this year. You know, there's some people that were a part of that game that are looking forward to that one too. So, and that was the overtime one. Or did you guys do an overtime one two years? You've had a couple of tangles with Coronado, right? And as of as a class together, you you guys as seniors, you've yeah, had a couple uh, of really really memorable. Uh, Mighty freshman year, we uh we lost to them. We were up by nine late in the game, and uh, they came back and beat us. So, you know, even even when I played, uh, they had J T. Rogan. He was a monster. Um, and they beat us every time we played. So. That's another game I got circled. I don't, I don't like going over to the island. Um, Who who's the rival? Do you guys have one that you like? Hoover. Hoover. Hoover is still the rival for every yeah. program, no matter how good or bad anyone is that season. Is there an, uh, a name to that? Is there a is there a specific actual trophy between the two? <laughs> yeah, they got. Why our, is there laughter? They got they got our trophy right now. Um, <laughs> the since every like for a while for a, for a long time, uh, like Come after back. I graduated till a couple years ago. We didn't play each other. Like, there were, you know, Division Two team. We were Division Five, and then finally we both got down to uh, Division Five, and we got the rivalry back going. So the first five times we played, they didn't score a single point, and uh, I was getting a little bored with it. So I decided to spray paint the old trophy, throw a little football on top, and make it the Battle of the Boulevard. Try to add, try, add a little something Boulevard, to the game, okay. and uh, they caught us slipping last year, and they got us. But we definitely we need that trophy back. Hey, can I just say real quick? Uh, shout out to Perfect Land from Hoover because uh, I, I remember we, like we were at the JV game and you know, our JV handle business. And I was walking back to my car, like to get dressed up and like perfect. I think like he broke his elbow or something like that. And um, so like, he didn't play that whole entire, he didn't play like a lot of last season. I was walking to my car. I just seen number seven suited up. I was like, Oh man. Like, like, you know, if you, if y'all never seen like him specifically running the ball, like, you know, that was a special kid for real. Like I knew like when I seen him suit up, I came back. I was like, Hey man, like, He's back. Like, so y'all, y'all make sure y'all are ready, you know. So shout out to that guy because he's, you know, a hell of a player. That might be the first uh, shout out we've ever had coming from one team to another. Uh, that's that, that that's solid. I, I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, so they are, let's see, I'm looking for the, are they at home or away this year for you guys, Hoover? Uh, you got to get them at home. We got them at home, you senior got, night. Oh, that's senior night this year? That's what's up. Do, do you guys do you, does the do, does the student base actually turn out for you guys, or or do you do you guys need to be treated a little better on campus? They're, they're starting to come back now after the COVID. You know, the COVID year it was like guest list only. Only these people get into the games. Um, so they're starting. And to it's been I think it's been hard actually for ASBs or whoever to maintain the hype of like, and, hey, and if also, you just started as a freshman in twenty twenty, like you wouldn't really know the vibe of like mm-hmm. Friday. You got to turn out and hang out. Like, yeah, the kids that are seniors now went. Went through pretty much two years of they lost half of their freshman season, uh, sophomore year they're pretty much all gone, and last year it's coming back into into it. So this is like their first year being back on campus for a whole year, hopefully. Um, but people are actually turning out though, or have you guys as seniors had to like kind of teach the freshmen and sophomores like, yo, you need to show up a little bit more. It's time to show some school school spirit. I actually think the younger kids they they get more kids to their game. I mean it's free obviously, so that helps. But one thing that hurts us is um, 
in the playoff times when they go to that go the go fan ticket thing like a lot of these kids don't have um credit card accounts to, to do that type of stuff so that kind of hurts us in the playoffs and stuff like that so i hope that's because you want to just walk up to will call with whatever 12 i hope that's something that cif reconsiders because that's um you know like an equity issue not everybody has a card and, and a phone to, to just pay for it right there on the spot but they do have cash money on them that they can pay for the game and get in so but senior night though uh that's got to be kind of exciting i always like asking seniors individually this but as a group of of all of you seniors um I think that there's no right or wrong answer. You can start wherever you want. I, I know it can get a little bit repetitive, but I am curious, what do you guys want to leave as like a legacy or an impact? Like, what do you want people to remember your senior class for in terms of what you guys left behind for Crawford football? You can think on that while Hamadi drops a couple bars for us. <laughs> um, I think our goal as a whole is to like improve the program overall. Uh, Crawford doesn't get a lot of notice as a whole. And I want the whole program and the whole sports program as a whole to improve and get better. Because it's nuts because two of you guys are wearing section championship uh, rings. Like, you're not a not he, winning. He didn't wear his ring, but he won a uh, basketball championship uh, last year or two years oh, ago. You, last year or two years? Which one was two it? Years, two, two, years two years ago? ago. Yeah. Two years. The COVID season. Yes. Um, I was there for most of that run. That mm-hmm. was a lot of fun. You guys had that's you guys had the double overtime? Yeah, at yeah, yeah. What is now Canyon overtime. Hills? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a crazy one. That's also crazy that we have to call them what is now Canyon Hills because uh, of the name being racist. Um, next thing you know, the, the PETA and the horse people will come for you guys uh, for abu- <laughs> abusing horses uh, with your school name. Uh, no, keep going, though, on, on what you guys want to leave behind. I want to leave behind another ring. A ring? State championship. <laughs> State championship? You guys, think that, the, you guys think that highly for this season, yeah? Yep. This is a very, very exciting uh, class we have here this year. Like, how you were talking about, like, do the students show up? Like, like this is the class that, in my opinion, I think is going to turn everything around for Crawford. You know, like, these guys are dedicated. They work hard. Extremely athletic guys. They've been working hard in the offseason. I know you asked earlier, like, you know, what have these guys been doing? But, like, Vince. Vince has been all around here, uh, all around San Diego, all around the West Coast, going out and competing at camps and everything against some of the best of the best. Same thing with uh, Little A.B., same thing with um, with uh, Hassani as well. And even though Lanky, he was gone during the off season, like he was gone competing in high level um, high level soccer. I think they uh, made it to the last game of the state tournament and lost in the last game. So these guys have really been competing hard, you know, in their in their other sports. And then when they're here with us, they're working hard. You know what I mean? Everyone's dialed in. And like Coach Matt said, like having fifteen men is is way different than having you know three men and a couple of boys. You know? I'm saying so. So what's kept you guys together? Uh, you guys, I'm assuming, all like each other as a senior class. Like you're actually friend. You're not just we can stand each other and we're all good at football. But you all friends. What has kept this many seniors together? Like what's what? That's a special group to be that large and, and stick. From what you're telling me, coach, is that it, it's a pretty high turnover rate. So what's so special about you guys? Not men in like a bad way, but just like like there's got to be something to it as to why you guys all are sticking around. Um. I I personally like feel like it, it's just like um like the things that we've been through like um like we we all like share like um common common past um we we all been through uh tragic things with like like loss um family issues like they, that's why like so much of our uh, seniors now like they're they're like working to like uh provide for their families so um I I like truly feel like it, it's just like the things that we all been through uh, we're all able to like connect and like be there for each other because like we we know and we like been there before. So um like just like just like the the support group that that we all like share and like uh bring to the table for uh for each and one of us that's on the team. Um I I think that that's what like keeps us together and like um share the common goal of this season. I always feel like what no, that's a that's an email and uh, that's email and James Harden agrees to two years, sixty eight million with the 76ers. Damn. Um, that's, must be nice. Tough life. Uh, he's washed. He's that washed. answer to me, uh, yeah, of course he is. Like, he's not. He's not. He, no, he's not good. James Harden is uh, ass. Yes, we agree on that. Uh, no, what? I, I, <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree. The answer that he gave is, is... Well, so I wanted to ask about that, and I just wanted to say that I always feel uncomfortable as a white graduate of La Jolla High School to be like, hey, I want to follow up on that and ask about you guys talking about how 
like life is a little bit different at Crawford than other schools. And it's fasting because of people not understand predominantly, like there's a very different religious demographic at Crawford than there are at a lot of other schools. And there's a lot going on there. Is that something that you guys want people to know about? Like, do you, do you feel like you're just like, let's put that as granted that that brings you all together, but I- am I wrong to want people to know more about how different it is for you and how life is not nearly as simple for a team at Crawford as it is for other schools. Uh, I'll just cut in and say, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think it really matters because like, you know, people like a lot of people joke about it. Like, Oh, that's the ghetto school. Ha ha. That's it's like, you know, people just make a joke of it anyway. So whether you know or not, I mean, it is what it is. People just make it, you know, people just make jokes about it anyways. You know, you know, these, the, you know, these, the, the, these guys, you know, they, they log it in very interesting ways, you know, um, but yeah, I don't, I, in my opinion, I don't think it really matters because, you know, people are going to say what they have to say anyways. So, I mean, do you, are you guys just sick and tired of everyone is like lopping cliches towards Crawford on social media and all that kind of sh- I mean, um, honestly, like how I think about it, uh, like, like how my mom always like tells me, uh, don't, don't let the words like just like, um, define who you are. Um, like she, she always like tells me, just, like don't even let like all the what like people like tell and, and like say about you. Don't don't even worry about it. Like if, if it's not true and if, if it's like not something that you believe in, like truly believe, don't even like stress about it because then like they're all all they're trying to do is just get inside your head. Like they're trying to get in your head, um, fill you up with like negative energy and just like like just like stay positive, bro. Like don't even think about that. Like they're they're going to like keep on like putting words in your mouth, keep on like trying to get into your head. Like I mean, that, that's just life. That's just what people do. Um, you you can't just like let that like affect you, and you just got to like keep it pushing and move on. On a lighter note, um, I'm assuming he gives all the like the motivational pregame talks. He he seems like he's the kind of guy <laughs> that like once absolutely he up, not no. He, no, cause no, I, was, no. I, was, I was I was sensing he once not. he picked up speed there like. He, he, Only in the group chat. Only in the group chat. <laughs> so nah, long-winded nah, texts. Nah, long-winded I feel, I feel, motivational um, texts in the group chat. Like you know, a lot of people say like uh, leaders are born. Like you know, it's hard to like learn how to be a leader. Well, I think he's developing into a leader um, over this year. He sophomore year when he came to us, it was during the COVID. Uh, so mom was a little iffy about him playing football, but he ended up playing basketball that year. And then the next year we got him. So you know, he's only played for us for one year. This is coming into his second year and. He's developing into that leader. To and he's wear. captain of two different positions. Captain of two different positions. He might even be the, the kicking captain if Gavin don't speak up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, what? That's crazy. Every, everybody, you know how it is. Everybody I would have assumed that kicker. one of the soccer everybody players would be the one coming for the kicking throne. No? Well, I used to play club soccer. So. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> he's been working with the new gen kicking in the offseason. So, you know, like I said, they they work with us. They also go out and seek help from other people to try to get better. You know, they're, they're trying to better themselves. Bettering themselves is going to better the team. You ready to rap for us? Something for us. <laughs> anything for us. Hey, hey, you not forget about, about that, bro. Put on the beat, bro. Hey. Nah. Cool. What song you want? Hey just, hey, just give them the new album release date. You know what I mean? Yeah, what is oh, the new bro, album release date? Yeah, I got lied to. Bro, I was, I was up by July 15th. <laughs> he said he's going to drop at midnight like Drake. <laughs> <laughs> just out of nowhere. You, you can do that? <laughs> yeah, I could do anything. Just out of nowhere. Just, man, you are, bro. <laughs> Won't even give us a release date, huh? Uh, July twenty fifth. Yeah. <laughs> of what year? That's in five days. <laughs> this year? Yep. <laughs> they delayed the release. <laughs> How many times has the release been delayed? I've been Too many. Up. I was told July fifteenth, a month before. July fifteenth, I was up. No album. Always, oh, always, yeah. always, you was hey, up waiting. I was up waiting. That's oh, crazy. Rapper, them wanting more. <laughs> always leave them wanting more. Always My favorite rapper about to drop. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> they came out, bro. The vibe just wasn't right on the fifteenth. <laughs> just didn't feel it. No. <laughs> um, you'll give us something by the end of the season, at least. Give us a music video. Give us yeah, something. Yeah, music video. <laughs> they, ju- they just redid our locker room, painted out the walls, the floors, the lockers, so we might have to shoot the, uh, the music video in the locker room. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no way. <laughs> hey, he's trying to shoot at Kalina or something. <laughs> <laughs> do a song for Crawford. You should. Do like a hype song that's just a little something that, that can be played before games. Freestyle right now. Only if Tut hopped on. I don't rap. That's not me. <laughs> I mean, go Let me get on the track. The it'll go platinum. <laughs> 
He's making our running backs playlist and stuff, but like our running back coach, I guess, and everything. <laughs> you're like, like of just your songs? Yeah, the, or the running backs were in the studio together the other day making a uh, song. So, do you does he play his? Will, will once the album finally drops, will you play his music at practice? If he don't, I will. I promise, I will. You already so played. He'll drop an album, oh, man, or you're not, saying if he I does will it, play his music. Okay, fair enough. If we can get, if we can get like we an play, edited version, we'll even come out to it. Like when we do our little entrance. Well, there you go. Why not drop this soon then? He, just play well, something right now. Crazy. <laughs> I don't think that there's ever been a high school team in San Diego history that's come out to one of its own players' songs. That's awesome. One, you gotta be the first one. You can be a trendsetter in that. I'll run. I'll, I'll race Coach Matt out the tunnel if you do it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. I gotta do that now. I gotta do that. We do we believe him when he says he's gotta do that? Yeah, I gotta do that. I don't know. I haven't lied to once already. <laughs> Deal. Well, I, I'll let you off then uh, without having to rap for us here today if you promise to put together that song for Crawford to come it's out this ones. year. Because then we'll put out a little hype video with it. We'll put, we'll put something together for you a, as a music video for that if you want. <laughs> okay. You got to deliver on that end. Uh, Plug it in real quick. <laughs> I mean, if you need a beat, we can put music into those headphones for you. Oh, put a beat? <laughs> How mighty. One time, bro. Um, <laughs> we, our live performance at least one of our songs that you're wrong. Just one. I know. You, nah, bro. You already, you already got the songs on the way, bro. What are you talking about, bro? We I mean, just committed him to a whole song, <laughs> which that's good. That's a, it's after, an EP after the game. We'll just give you the mic, and then you can perform live after we win. Does he dance? You dance too with oh, it? No, nah. he's a dancer. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's like, he's like Chris Brown. You know, he's a dancer. For so, do we? Can you at least give a like? What would the title of the song be? Do you, can you come up with that? For us, give us just a little teaser on what the Crawford specific song would be. Would you Would you come up with Dead Zone? <laughs> okay, there you have it. Um, <laughs> he need new make- <laughs> right now. He needs probably to just focus on football. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, he was still day and night <laughs> in the studio day and night. Do you Both have a little have studio set up on your own? Like, do you did you you got a studio at your house? Where do you go? Where do you go for your nah, studio? I'll be going to my friends. Another guy on the team or no? No. Nah. So your best, so your best rapper on the team then, at least. Oh, um, we, got Mr. Uh, we got, we got uh, El Trey, no, 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 we got no, no, Mr. Ping Bing, we got everybody over there. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Ping Bing, bro, can't. <laughs> Another running back. Well, Kent is rapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Kent Armstrong, tomorrow I practice, brother. <laughs> there you go. Come on, you brother. We will end with a Kent Armstrong call out. That's what everyone's here for. Um, can we go down? Uh, I, we've given him plenty of time to plug his social media. Any of you guys got stuff you want to plug where people can check what's going on out with Crawford this year and or anything you guys are doing? Tug got like 50,000 followers, so you know if you're going to follow somebody, follow him. Triple E. Triple E. T-R-I-P-P-L-L-Y on Twitter. T-R-I-P-P-L-Y on Instagram. Vincent Smith on Twitter. Uh, uh, Night Gavin on Twitter. Uh, GK Lanky on Instagram. GK Lanky. On Gavin Lanky. underscore New Win 13 on Instagram. Hamadi Sharif 1 on Twitter. What's your Instagram? <laughs> SG51. <laughs> SGEE51. He'll be tagged in it. Don't worry. Hey, let me play a little song. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the only battle on Twitter. <laughs> Coach Matt Marquez on Twitter, Crawford Coach Football on Twitter, Crawford Coach Football on Instagram. Follow us, see what's going on with us. Um, let's have fun this year. Let's have fun this year. I like that. There you go. Just for you guys keep being able to hear that in the background, we will cut it off just to save Hamadi. I see, I see, I see the look he's giving me right now. Uh, thank you, everyone, for checking in. Please go catch what the Crawford Colts are up to this year. they got a senior-heavy team, and they are coming for theirs. We'll talk to you soon, sports fans, on another episode of San Diego Prep Insider.